Baez is the project director at the crisis group in Washington and says the bounty and sanctions are all signs that the U.S. is becoming more desperate to isolate Iran. You know, it's it's really incredible uh, for a senior State Department official to be sending emails to ship captains and basically offering them bribes. Um, it's uh, it's really a sign of uh, uh, desperate how desperate uh, uh, Washington has become in order to make sure that its maximum pressure policy actually reaches the maximum level of pressure that it had in mind. Um, but uh, and it's also shocking that uh, U.S. government, with all this power and intelligence capabilities, now has to go out uh, basically on a hunt uh, to ask for tips uh, in order to uh, uh, figure out the IRGC's network uh, uh, that Iran is using to go around sanctions. So far, um, uh, maximum pressure has really created uh, maximum peril and minimum results in terms of the strategic goals that the Trump administration had in mind. Uh, and this is happening in parallel to uh, French President Emmanuel Macron's efforts uh, to de-escalate tensions between Iran and the U.S. And I think there are elements within the Trump administration, uh, especially in the National Security Council and the State Department, who've been seeking regime change and a military confrontation with Iran for years and are now concerned uh, that uh, President Macron might be succeeding in convincing President Trump uh, to de-escalate tensions with Iran and provide them with some economic reprieve. In the past few days, we've seen six rounds of sanctions designations against uh, Iran, uh, which really seems to me an effort by uh, the more hardline elements within the Trump administration to torpedo uh, this diplomatic effort.